Jedi General Peters here, and I'm back with yet another town tour part, which this is part three, and today we'll be doing tours of kind of the three houses on Main Street, which this is Main Street, because it's like the main road, it's in the middle of the town. But this, I used to live here, right before I moved, and so it's the mailbox, this is lot three, it's a really large building it's very large and i took out pretty much everything on the inside before i moved out so it'll just kind of be like me telling you what room is what but it's very empty there's like nothing here so i have my little living room over in this corner um i left the bathroom because you know whoever moves in will want a bathroom so there's a bathroom in there those doors are laid outside um this was a little bedroom i think i had bunk beds in here but got trap doors or trap doors, pressure plates all over. And then I crammed a little tiny guest bedroom under these stairs because I thought that it'd be fun. Um, I had a kitchen in this corner with a little bar area because I could not fit a dining room in this house somehow. Um, and then this was another bedroom. Which it's kind of a medieval themed bedroom. Um, and then if you go upstairs, oh, this is being laggy again. I had a little office area here, and then that ladder leads up to the attic. I had a cat stand over in this corner, and then this, I believe, is the master bedroom. Yeah, this is the master bedroom. And then it had a little master bath back here, which I took that out, unfortunately. And every window has flowers outside of it. I designed it so that there were always, there was flowers outside of every window, because I think that's nice still being like I had a bookshelf on that wall I believe and it was a really large one and then this was the laundry room and then this was my bedroom which was a green themed room which I think the bedrooms up here are actually larger than the ones downstairs no I forgot the attic so if you go up maybe get into the attic I've got lots of cobwebs and random blocks like kelp blocks and shelter boxes and beds. I think that's a yeah, it's hay. And then cobwebs because it's mad it. And it got a sponge for some reason. But it's just meant to be kind of weird. And I don't know why it's a prismarine block. I was trying to decorate it. And I like hid torches in the corners. And it was just supposed to be sort of a weird space. I had space, and I wanted to do an attic, and I meant it. Let's go outside. We're actually doing pretty good tonight. Um, but we'll go out these doors. There's a little pool. Oh, no, 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 I hate rain. But there's a little pool with some fish, and... I put in a little bench table thing. Um, I have there's a little rabbit hutch up against the building. Um, a weird hay structure. I kept saddles. That's a horse that's for sale with this house. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven horse pens. And then there's a secret gate. Well, it's not really secret. That leads to my friend's house, which. I don't look at it. There's another one that leads out back onto that road. Um, there's a little tree house up here. It's a ladder hole. Um, dog houses I had before I built the cemetery. My pet's grave were over there. And yeah, this is, that's kind of the house. It's where I used to live, which perfect for me. Marvelous time. And I put trees all the way around and raised the fence to give it kind of a pri like a little privacy area. A little privacy. But next we'll do this house, which this is my friend's house. It's her mailbox, which she has some steak in her mailbox. Um, let's see, there's a little pen for maybe a pet or two outside. Lots of landscaping. You can see a deck, I believe, that comes off the master bedroom. There's a fish pond, which we float. Okay, there's a fish pond. 
Um, and then I, this is like one of the new houses I actually did shutters on, but I think it looks cool. And it's a, it's a very unique use of jungle wood, because I don't really ever use jungle wood, and it looks pretty awesome. But there is a doorbell, which launches fireworks. Um, but this is your little entry area. Which doesn't look too bad. I used different coat hooks there. I even put a picture in the wall to cover up the dispenser, or whatever you call it. Um, there's some weird armor stand things. A fish tank. Which I... I think they have names. I think it's Flip Flop and Marvin, and the little one is Marvin. <laughs> I can't really remember, but there is a bathroom there. Not much to look at. Little living room, bookshelf under the stairs, because I always do bookshelf under the stairs. Um, a dining room, and a kitchen, which doesn't look awesome, you know. This was before. This was the very first house ever built in this world, so this doesn't have some of my best decorating skills displayed in it. Um, there's a guest bedroom, which this is like the coolest feature in the entire house, in my opinion. So, some of you may know what a catio is. It's basically a screened-in area outside with, like, shelves in it for your cat. And they cannot get out, but they can, like, smell the fresh air and stuff. So this is a catio, a Minecraft catio. It actually has a door to the outside. And the rest of it's just trap doors. But... It has a door to the inside so the cats can get out. And then there's a door up to the pool, because why not? Um, but yeah, that's the downstairs, and then we'll go upstairs, so there's some parrot shelves, um, I believe there are a couple dog beds on this, in this hallway with some coral display things, a couch or two, a little cat thing, um, this is the green room in the house, which it has one tree and a book thing and a bed, which I've forgotten how this room looks. Um, let's see, there's a bathroom that's very much a copy of the one downstairs. This is an office, which has a lovely little desk. Um, a weird looking lamp that I made up. And then, over here, this is a kid's room. Very, very bright. That's my weird bunk bed design. This is the first striped rug I ever built. But I did some weird curtains out of banners. How are we going for time? Okay, this may be in only two house two or three. Which is okay. Um, this is the master. Which, it's magenta and dark oak, which actually looks surprisingly okay together. Um, it has a master bathroom. Which I think this is the only shower in the house. Not a good thing. Um, and then it has a deck that pops out here. Oh, and there's my brother jumping around in his horse. Um, but yeah, this is the deck. Flowers, a little bench, and then it wraps around to the back and has another bench. Um, you can overlook the pool, which looks pretty cool. And then it actually has a door that comes out into the hallway. And then we'll go back downstairs. I'm just hopping over furniture. <laughs> and then this door leads out to the patio. We've got a little table, lots of chairs, pool floaties, which has a trap door underneath, and carpet on top. And this is the pool. Nothing awesomely special. There's a little diving board design. There's a grill over there. Uh, that's the catio. It looks kind of weird. It's a horse poking its head to the fence. Uh, this is parrot things that you can put your parrot in there and they can, like, chill. This looks pretty cool. There's a little fort here that you can watch fireworks from. Right to the window of that bedroom. And there's a couple dog houses. But I think that this is a pretty cool house. This, this is one of the most realistic houses, I think. Watch, watch his pitiful struggles with his horse. But I'm... Yeah. 
I don't think I'll be able to fit in a full tour. So maybe, maybe I'll just do a tour of this business then. Because I, I won't be able to fit that house. So I'll do that house and these other two, my, this business and the fire station. My business and the fire station. Next. Alright, that sounds good. But this is the little reception room, which this business is called Bucking Breeders. And I'm gonna fix that hole in the wall. Because I'm nice like that. Um, yeah, there's a desk. A big long reception desk and some benches. Yeah, he's having glitching problems. And then, this is where she keeps her horse, which, that's not her horse. Um, these are a couple of paddocks, training paddock, breeding paddock, and the man pole. Because she breeds horses. And then this is kind of like just a big pasture, which looks awesome. It's got a really cool rock structure with a waterfall. Surprisingly, there's like a really small number of horses in here. Which, yeah, it kind of has this water feature. And it is pretty cool. It's got lots of trees for shade. Um, and we're running, like, perfectly on time. But I'll just do this, too. This is the fire station, which it looks pretty cool. It's not done. Um, it's being built by one of my friends. I don't see quite out very often, so they don't they can't get on and work on it. This is just normal work on the ground or the server or anything. They click that and that goes down. So I don't know if that's supposed to be like the fire truck garage opening. I don't know. But that's goes up and down and I think I'm going to have to end the video here, which this is part three, and there will be lots more tours next time. We'll probably move into business district and get that farm tour done along with my business, which will take lots of time. So maybe we'll just do that in the playground next time. Who knows? But we will definitely have lots more parts, so keep an eye out for more parts, and thank you for watching. Jedi General Peters, out.